Hi, it's Fountain and today I'm going to talk about how to set boundaries. And I know boundaries are essential for obviously living a healthy life and I know that some of us have too much and some of us potentially have too little. And I guess for those that don't probably have enough um, boundaries or feel that they don't have enough boundaries then this is potentially going to be a helpful guide as to how to actually um, set your boundaries and you know healthy boundaries means knowing and understanding what your limits are that I mean that is basically it in a nutshell as simplified as possible um, so yeah I guess that flows on to step one which is naming your limits so being sure of where you stand you know stand being in the center you know being sure of where that is for you is only something that you can really know and that's something that you have to know you have to do I guess like even something of just asking yourself what are those center points for you like what what is your limit as well you know center limit I guess that could almost be the same thing but yeah I guess that's that's step one now step two is to tune into your feelings they are often the cues um, you know of whether you're out getting out of balance and whether you're not honoring your own limits you know especially when feelings like discomfort like huge amounts of discomfort and resentment if that those sort of emotions coming up they are usually an indicator that your um, your boundaries are being cro like crossed I do understand that um, there's certain levels of discomfort that we each have to experience in order to um, to come to know things and to learn lessons and whatnot but there's also a balancing act of, of how much discomfort you should really be um, allowing into your space. And yeah, I mean, resentment is, I guess, something that often will come up when you feel like you're being taken advantage of or you're not being appreciated. So yeah, just while I'm recording this, I'm just thinking of my own, um, some of my own patterns. Um, yeah, sorry, back to, Back to step three, you need to be direct. Now, I understand sometimes, like especially if you're communicating with people that have different cultures or like it's just a cultural difference that's going on, um, being direct can be considered like very disrespectful. Um, and I guess you may want to be more careful with those situations or sometimes you need to be more direct with those situations. Um, Basically, it's, it's sort of setting your boundaries in, in a polite, firm um, way. And, you know, you're not insulting. It's not being too grey, um, because otherwise if you're being too grey, then they're going to treat the situation as grey. And, by the way, I'm not putting down the colour grey. I'm just using that as, you know, it's not really black or white. Not that anything ever really is, or some say it is. But now I'm just getting into different schools of thought anyway moving away from that <laughs> step number four is giving yourself permission so boundaries are a sign of self-respect and we all deserve to have boundaries so you need to give yourself permission to to set those boundaries you need to be saying to yourself you know whether it be out loud or, or you know in your head or, or through your body through your emotions is I give myself permission to set boundaries because it is what keeps me healthy and centered so yeah now next step practice um, self love I guess um, and self awareness so if you notice yourself like slipping up and um, and not sustaining you know the boundaries that you've, you've named that you that you wouldn't allow to be crossed then you need to ask well what's changed and what can I do about it you know what what is it that you are in control of in that situation there's always something that you are in control of in that situation and it could be something as simple as just reiterating 
that boundary again, um, you know, or it could be something else. But often, you know, that's something that you're in control of you speaking and you communicating what that boundary is. So I know sometimes it may feel like everything is out of control when, when you're in a certain situation, but you have to come back and remember that you've helped create that situation even though that might not be nice to hear um, or to understand or to understand um, it's important to remember that you've created it why did you create it again what can you do about it and you know be loving towards yourself in that process of course um, yeah and I guess that then comes to um, the sixth step which is um, like self more related to self-care and making that a priority, putting yourself um, first. Now, I know that kind of sounds um, like something that some people wouldn't um, usually say because, you know, I understand if you've got things like children and other situations that it doesn't always mean that that's the definite truth. But I'm hoping that you're understanding when I'm saying that you have to make sure that you come first if, if it's something that's not like, you know, needing someone's you know, nappy change or whatever, then, you know, you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself and your, your basic needs and boundaries. Like, that's one of your basic needs. Um, you know, because it gives you then the energy, obviously, and the peace of mind and um, the presence, I guess, of being able to, to be there for others then. You know, when you're taking care of yourself, you're then able to overflow your cup as such and then flow it into others. So it's hard to pull from an empty cup, basically, to keep that nice and simple. <laughs> and then the last step, number seven, is to seek support if you're struggling with this process. Look for people that you feel or that you know in your life or, um, you know, whether that be through your family, through your friends, through work, that you, I guess... Um, respect in the way that they set boundaries and that you can see that they set really good boundaries and you know if if you feel like it's a relationship that you have that they are going to be open to sharing some more information with you then I'd encourage you to to speak to them about it and say hey look I've, I've got this thing that I know I need to set these boundaries and I see that you you seem to be really good at setting um, an example of this you know and just depending on the relationship with the person, they may even better help keep you accountable um, for that or just give you some tips on um, of encouragement, I guess. So anyway, that is my um, vlog on how to set boundaries. This is not the be all end all. I'm just putting this out there as a guide, as a um, potential framework to help people, especially when they don't know where to start at all. Um, I find I can go from one side of the polarity to another sometimes um, but I find it just really probably depends where I'm at in my life, the lessons I'm learning I definitely slip up sometimes and then boundaries are um, across and um, but then there are the times where people complain they've got too many boundaries but in saying that that could just be the fact that if I didn't have those boundaries then they are able to um, benefit off me not having them and um, and that's not always with a good intention either so anyway I digress slightly so I will uh, see you in the next vlog you're more than welcome to leave any comments and um, questions in the comment section down below and you can also contact me through my other various social medias in the description box down below